last January I started making plans about coming out and uh, carrying my heavy camera equipment and um, entering the Alpine Lakes Wilderness to uh, shoot some film. And um, I've done it, I've lost about 15 pounds. I figured out how to pack my, get my, uh, how to pack my gear with uh, less weight. In February, I took me 50 pounds to just go on a day trip and uh, I figured out how to get it down to 50 pounds or 40 pounds with my camera gear and enough equipment to stay for several days. Um, so I'm about to enter the Lake Caroline and the Alpine Lakes Wilderness. This will really be my first trip um, done in a way that I had envisioned where I'd go out and spend several days shooting photos. Um, so I'm excited about it. You know, it's difficult to pack and get ready. Uh, there's so many logistical things to figure out, but once I get out here and look around and see the environment, it helps me uh, realize and remember why I came. And so I'm looking forward to getting up there and getting on the trail. When I passed by a little eight mile, it wasn't very long after that, to the trail to uh, Lake Caroline. And it takes off through the brush and heads up to the north, on the north side of the valley. The trees have all been burned away, exposing the rocks. And the rocks are all red. And at the valley bottom, it's where they meet with the granite gray of the um, Stuart Batholith, which is a massive granite object that was shoved up from inside the earth. Imagine something sliding under the Pacific Northwest and breaking apart giant chunks and shoving them up at angles and turning them on their sides and twisting them and forcing them to collide into each other and bend and break. And standing here you can't help but forget what year it is. It's hard to tell if this is something that happened recently or ages ago and you think about the passage of time and how many decades and eons have it take has it, it's taken to uh, convert all of this to what we see now uh, our short few years are pretty inconsequential in fact it could be any year this could be 1690 or 1250 or 800 BC It probably didn't look that much different then. There'd still be snow in the Kalors. Still be rocks sliding down and forest fires and wildlife. Dead trees. and clouds and blue sky. Probably wouldn't be aircraft flying over trails and vehicles parked at the trailhead and permits, but other than that, it could be any time.
and I went, uh, I didn't really want to stop at the second lake, Upper Little, or Little Caroline. It, um, you know, it was clear down in the trees. Really what I want to see is Windy Pass. So, although I thought about stopping down there, at least that was my plan originally. Just kept on pushing, hoping I hoping there was another lake. Of course there wasn't. So now I'm just a little ways from Windy Pass from the summit. All I gotta do is figure out how to put up my tent up there in a place where it won't get blown down in the middle of the night. That ought to be doable. But I'm really close to getting there. And I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, sunrise from up this elevation. It's a full moon coming up. And uh, and I'm tired. I can't believe it, but I'm at uh, Windy Pass. I reached the summit, actually the, the saddle, the low point in Windy Pass. And um, it's, I, I think maybe an hour before sunset pretty close to sunset. The sun's actually disappeared off the mountaintops. Uh, I've got at least enough time to set up my tent and I'm starting to bundle up. It's kind of breezy. It's windy past for a reason. I'm going to try out my uh, tarp tent uh, Mo Trail, which I recently purchased. You know, I know better than to set up a tent on a in the pass, especially one called Windy Pass, but I'm going to set it up behind some trees and hopefully the wind won't blow too hard tonight and we'll see how it does. Alright, well this isn't your normal tarp tent arrangement so I set it up without the video. Um, it's pretty windy. Hopefully I have enough shelter, a few trees. It's kind of exposed though. It's going to be windy all night. So I have my vestibule. I made a tie down for the front. Made a little boot yourself tightener. I got my uh, pole stabilizer in place. Got it um, stuck down on all the corners and on the sides. And here's what's next door. I think the wind doesn't know anything about time. Right? It's been blowing for eons through this windy pass. When I look to the east, I can see it clear to Wenatchee. When I look to the west, I can see mountains toward the uh, Puget Sound. Definitely see the clouds from the Pacific. It snowed over, well it didn't snow, but it's 32. Uh, it was pretty cold. I wasn't prepared for 32. Um, and so I've decided to pack up and head down I'm thinking that if it starts to snow, I don't want to be up here. I'm definitely thinking if I do this again, I'm going to have a base camp. But there was no reason for me to carry all my food, all my fishing pole, rod, and all that stuff. We're up to the very summit. There's no point. The, the smartest thing would have been to set up a camp where I can go out and explore different directions. I've, I've revised my, my plans a little bit. So what I've done is I've set up my camp down at, um, down at the upper Caroline, Lake Caroline. There's two Lake Carolines. It's the upper one. Set my tent there and left all the essentials there. I brought just what I needed to come up here tonight. I have my uh, all the camera gear. My plan is to stay out uh, and watch the uh, moonrise. 
and hopefully get some um, some photos with the uh, enchantments in the in the shot. Something I learned, these two little ammo boxes um, weigh a pound a piece and my camera bag weighs twice that much. And they're solid and they're waterproof. Also discovered I don't need the extension on my tripod. In fact, I'd rather not have it. So there goes a little bit more weight that I could cut out of my trip. I'm uh, about 6,500 feet above Lake Caroline and I'm taking photos of uh, Dragondale Peak and Kolchak and that area over the enchantments. And I frame my shot. My goal is to uh, have a, a panoramic, uh, or that's not what I mean, a, um, a triptych. Uh, so three photos in sequence with the full moon rising in the uh, third. And I have a feeling I'm going to be here for hours waiting because it's, it's going to be a while. What are you doing, Wes? <laughs> I'm doing crazy people stuff. Yeah? That's great. Okay, well this is why I came. I'm here, it's a beautiful day. You know, it is what it is. You plan and you prepare and come out and do it. And okay, it makes me wonder you know, what makes a good photograph. You know, am I just looking for mountain peaks or something more just to get off on it? Um, I don't know, but you know, one can only exercise.